Hey everyone, this is Misty at Nerd News Social, and today I am checking out another game. Let me just get my name in there first. Alright, this one is Brightstone Mysteries Paranormal Hotel. I don't know if that's a hotel so much as an actual castle, but sure. Let's play. Ooh, let's adjust those settings a little bit. A little loud. That should be good. Okay, now we can play. Go it in casual. It's a nice little beach. Not sure I'd want to be that close to it. But I'm sure they planned it out well. Got crickets, but it looks like it's daytime. She is ghostly white. The sea and the crickets. Huh. That's a really weird way to introduce a character. And I just can't get over the sound of the ocean and crickets. I, I don't know. Is that a thing in places? During the daytime? Alright, would you like to see some interactive help while playing the game? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I don't really feel like it this time. Alright, let's have a look around here. Oh, there's a little box. Bunch of cardboard boxes. They say Katia Office Supplies. Sure. Cool. We got a battery, a recorder, or a phone of some sort. Oh, show me where I can walk. Walking this way. What can I look at? A stone lion's head. How am I supposed to open the door? Maybe I should call my boss and let him deal with the situation. Okay. Nothing's happening. Of course not. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, can I grab it? Do I do more than inspect it? Seems kind of weird. Nope. Can't take a picture of it. Can't grab it. won't budge. There's the lion's head. 
to get photo the lion's head? No. Cell phone. Ha. Ah, that's funny. Not possible to do that. Okay. Well. So what am I supposed to do with my cell phone? Can I put that in the briefcase? No. Okay. There we go. Sorry to wake you, but I'm having a bit of a problem. Did you solve the case? No. Did you report to the hotel? Well, that's the problem. So you haven't done anything at all. I'm trying to do my job, but you can't get into the hotel. Can you call the owner and find out what's going on? You gotta do everything around here. Hey man, you're the one who yanked me out of my vacation and joined the sound of the ocean and crickets in the daytime. Fine. Don't call me in again unless you've got a major breakthrough on your hands. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Okay, goodbye. A few minutes later. Good day, I'm Detective Bridget Brightstone. I'm here on behalf of the New York PD, Inspector Sam. Why is the New York PD doing here at this big old castle? Oh yes, he just called. I apologize for the inconvenience. Come in, Detective. I used my cell phone. That's an achievement in these days. Sure. Okay, well, back in I go. There you are. I've been looking for you. Give me the keys to the basement. Excuse me, Detective Brightstone. I'm sorry. I can't help you, Detective Matisse. I've been looking for the keys, but it seems somebody lost them. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. Why do you expect me to do my job when you... Yes, and you are Detective Bridget Brightstone, NYPD, but please call me Biggie. New York Police, you're put out of your jurisdiction. That's what I was saying. I was called to be part of a joint investigation. The missing necklace. Why would the NYPD be interested in this case? Well, first of all, I was on vacation nearby. Second, my superior asked me to do this as a personal favor. I see. Well, you're not here on official police business, so I would like you to stay out of my way. Why so hostile? I'm here to help. To help. How arrogant can you people get? <laughs> right? We don't need your help. We can deal with this on our own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some real police work to do. Okay. Well, there's an odd-looking iron key in there. Stuck too deep for me to reach by hand. Sure. Looks like they keep the gardening tools at the fountain around here. Not really good for business, I'd say. Some kind of oh, long copper wire. Hey man, this stuff's expensive. Perhaps I could use this copper wire to pry out that bit there. Use the wire to pull the key out of the hole. Okay, drag your finger across the screen. Well, not quite doing. Woohoo! I've got that basement key. All right. Let's get you settled in. Do you care about the view? Do you have any special requests for the room? I'm sure I can accommodate your wishes. I really don't care about the room, but I'd like you to fill me in on the latest information. No problem. Sam told me to share any information of importance with you when you arrive. You mean Inspector Sam McLeod? Yes, 
Yes, I was the one who asked for you. Well, I asked for help. He sent you. You see, Sam and I are old friends. What's the story here? Two nights ago, a valuable necklace was stolen. The strange thing is the owner of that necklace is now is in a coma. What? The woman who wore the necklace was found unconscious the next day. Later, we learned that she had checked in with false documents. Nobody knows who she is or where she came from. Where is she now? The doctors came, took her to the nearest hospital, but that's all the information we have, I'm afraid. Although, according to her living will, she didn't want any special medical treatment. So I guess they're keeping her alive, but not sure if she'll ever wake up from the coma. Well, how do you know that's her living will if all of her documents were fake? She had a living will. If so it would seem. I see. So what do you need me for? Things started to sound rather fishy around here, so I called Sam and asked for some advice. He once told me about you and your expertise in, um, paranormal stuff. You see, there are some strange things going on in this hotel. I've seen them myself. Well, how nice to hear that Sam talks about me. But please, let me investigate a bit first, and then I can tell you what I think about your paranormal stuff, okay? No offense, but 99% of paranormal stuff turns out to be pretty normal stuff in the end. I understand, Detective. However, I'm still glad you're here. What's with the grumpy detective? Uh, unfortunately, you met Matisse one of our, on one of his bad days. Oh, so he's not always like this? Oh, he is. But when he's in a good mood, he usually just ignores people. He's the resident detective in this district. He was relocated here after a situation in Paris. I see. Will he help me? Not willingly. And you should know that he has isolated a couple of rooms and proclaimed them crime scenes, so you won't have access to them. But then there's no point in my coming here. How am I supposed to investigate if Matisse is standing in my way? Sam told me you were resourceful. You'll have to be smart about Matisse. So much talking. Where are all the guests? Most of them left after the robbery. Those who remain are good friends of the owner's wife. There's also several reporters around, you know, looking for a good scoop. I'm really tired from the trip. Can I go to my room? By all means, here's the key. Room 27, have a blessed night. You're leaving. I am needed elsewhere, but don't be a stranger. Take the key and have a good night. Goodbye. Oh, before I leave, please take this. It's a hotel memento. We give them to all of our guests. Thank you. All right. Wow. Look at all those keys. Room key. Oh, can I take other room keys? No. No. All right. Just making sure, I guess. But let's see, room one, eight, oh, 17 is. Oh, eight, 16, 19. Hmm. Quite a few of them are occupied. There's room 27 there. The room is locked. Now it is unlocked. I should take my suit suitcase and move her here. Um, suitcase, I'll put there. I don't think so. Set up. No, not there. Okay, look at all these papers. 
going to the papers. No, can't put them there. Okay, well, let's close that for now. No new mail. Okay. King size bed. Can't wait to slip into it. Ha 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 ha. Into the hallway, nowhere else to go. Wait, it looks like the eyes are missing from the statue. They're all over the place. It's a castle symbol, okay. So one I can't go into. Oh well. The door is locked. Oh, is that the way to the yeah it is. And on the other side. Oh hey, look at that. Fancy. That door is locked. That door is locked. The fountain. Oh. Well, let's just walk in back the other way. Okay. Ooh, a spooky here. Room is locked. Aha! Uh -huh. Tap on your circuit to slide up or down. Sometimes the circuit breakers will overload. Switch the on position. Switch fuses to on position. Okay, solve the problem. Down the stairs I go. Oh, that looks like something I could pick up. Yep. And this. Oh, I stole a whole forklift. It's locked. Where did all the keys go? I'll be taking that. And you, sir? Good evening, detective. Oh, you're still here. In that case, I don't see anything good coming of this evening. How charming of you. Any news on the case? No, there's a fax waiting for me, but the machine is broken, I guess. Did you call someone for repairs? You are aware that we're in the middle of nowhere. Look, do as I do. Sit and wait. And do nothing. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, I am done with this guy. He's annoying. Okay. Back away from Mr. Attitude there. Oh. 
lots of flickering lights over that way. Yes, you could consider it paranormal. Oh, -ho, I just stole an axe. Awesome. I could go check that stuff out. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything useful in the basement. Get that. Find the basement key. I have the basement key. Okay, that's great. Right, can we close this? Alright, let's go back down to that. Come on. It's a broken fox machine. Cool, but what is twinkling behind it? I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see, the basement. Goes through here. And down there. And over here. And then... There's no other... Be a bad idea, right? Where is the rest of my stuff? Like, I had a basement key, I'm sure of it. Uh, I'll just go back to my room, I guess. kind of crazy adventures we may end up with. What happened to all the stuff that I had? Where's my suitcase? Is there a reason why I can't get into it? Is that a smoke detector? <laughs> that sure is. I'm sure I had a key. Well, this looks like a mystery I'm going to have to solve in my own time. I want to thank you for sharing your time with me. Please hit that like button and comment to let us know how you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Nerd News Social for more first look video game reviews, unboxing videos for cool tech and gadgets, and in-person coverage at events throughout the year. Ring that bell and be reminded when new content goes live. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.